Well, yes, hello my friends. Christmas is now is just around the corner. The big fella, Santa, is getting ready. And uh, look, as some of you know, uh, the big guy and I have a pretty good relationship. It, uh, look, it, it all started when, uh, when I was 11. And uh, him and I had a pretty frank discussion about uh, why it was that I kept getting... Look, I kept getting coal in my stockings and uh, we had a discussion, understood where I'd been going wrong. Uh, and look, and since then we've had, uh, we, we, we've had a really good relationship. We've been really close. So with that sort of information in mind, I wanted to, I wanted to spend some time today to maybe just tell you a little bit more about, about Santa, but more closely about... Uh, about uh, about his lovely wife, Mrs. Claus. Now, uh, some of you may know, Santa is, look, he's immortal. He lives on in Christmas magic that comes about from, look, us believing in him and the, and the spirit of Christmas. The elves and Mrs. Claus, well, they're not. They're just mere mortals, just, just like you and, you and me. So, admittedly, the elves do live a little longer. Uh, I think it's something to do with that wholesome lifestyle that they've got and the excessive uh, candy canes that they eat. Uh, I think that's got a lot to do with it. But outside of that, Mrs. Claus, mortal, like you and me. So what that means is that every 50 years or so, Santa needs to find a new wife. Not as fun as it sounds. Because uh, like being Mrs. Claus is not an easy task. She has some really major responsibilities. And some of them include being in charge of uh, the elves and looking after their engagement program. Uh, she's also in charge of the uh, networking and festivity activities. But her most important role is, is to be the eyes and ears for the North Pole uh, to understand where the world is at and what it is that the kids in the world are looking for. So uh, she spends a lot of her time traveling, uh, you know, out and about around, seeing what the new trends are, picking up on it, and coming back and reporting to Santa and all the department heads. So look, it's, it's not an easy job. So when Santa is looking for his new wife, it's, whew, it's a big, big task. Now, uh, like all marriages, there's troubles. Now, <laughs> I, remember, I remember Santa telling me this story about, uh, it was 1935, and um, he spent two weeks in, two weeks in with the reindeers in the stalls, uh, you know, the old dog house. Well, he was in the reindeer house. Uh, and it was all about, at the time, uh, Mrs. Claus was down checking, uh, checking in the elves, checking with the elves in the mail department. And um, she read this letter there that came from a little girl named Margaret. And uh, Margaret, Margaret had said she'd seen Santa kissing mummy on uh, Christmas Eve or Christmas night. Oh, was he in trouble? Anyway, investigation, uh, you know, went on and it was found out that Margaret was a little upset uh, about the toy she got the year before. So uh, she, uh, she decided to get a little bit of payback. Anyway, um, Margaret ended up having a pretty good talking to by the, uh, by the ESPN, uh, that's the Elf Santa Protection Network, uh, the head there. And, uh, and look, since then she, she developed to become a really, a really great lady and, and actually went on to be a, um, a very, uh, a very renowned and well-known politician, actually. Uh, coincidentally, um, Elf Rocco actually wrote a song to that, uh, and he uh, he sold the lyrics to uh, Jimmy Boyd around uh, 1952, something around there. Um, look, anyhow, I'm I'm digressing a little bit, but look, more recently, um, Santa's wife uh, has been ill. Um, They've been married since 1968, and uh, look, she's she was on her death. She's on her deathbed after all these years, um, suffering from diabetes. Now, look, sugar cane, uh, sorry, uh, candy canes are good for elves, but not so good for us mortals. So, diabetes is a real issue. Uh, but look, she's laying on her bed, and um, and Santa's there with her, and uh, she's. They're holding each other's hands. It was beautiful to watch. And um, Mrs. Claus is looking at Santa and says, you know, my darling, like I, I can't thank you enough for these wonderful years we've spent together. 
uh, your jolly laugh and your love for all and your support of me has been just been fantastic. Uh, but look, I there's something I need to tell you. And um, can, can you look under the bed and grab the suitcase that's there? And Santa, he, um, he looks under the bed, grabs the suitcase, brings it out, puts it on his lap. And, says, and she says, darling, can you now please open it? And he opens up the suitcase and in the suitcase is these two, two beautiful uh, knitted scarves. And under the scarves is hundreds and hundreds of these, of dollar bills or, or bills uh, from currencies from all around the world, including the North Pole dollar. And uh, he's looking at them and he said, I, I don't understand my love, what is this about? And she, uh, she looks at him and says, my darlings look, I haven't always been faithful. I'm sorry, sorry. And each time that I was, each time that I was unfaithful, I knitted a scarf to remind me, to remind me of the mistake. And Santa was taken back. He's, um, you know, stops and thinks, and he's a lovely man, we all know. He stops and thinks of the 50 plus wonderful years that they've had together, the love, and he thinks, you know, well, you know, two, two mistakes in 50 years. And look, we all know Elf Bigo is not called that because he's tall, right? Anyway, so uh, he says to her, look, my love, I'm obviously a bit taken back by this, but our years of love and support have been so good that I forgive you for that. I love you, my dearest. And you could see just the relief in her face. It was, it was beautiful. Anyhow, Santa goes on and says, well, now I understand, now I understand the scarves. What is with all the money? And she said, oh, my love, every time the suitcase got full, I sold them on my travels. So Santa's now looking for a new wife. Uh, I wish you all the best to those who might be thinking it's the job for them. Don't be taken back, it's a lot of hard work. But in the meantime, I'd like to wish you all, my friends, my followers, all 12 of you, uh, I wish you a Merry Christmas, a safe and happy New Year, and I look forward to telling a few more of these uh, stories and maybe filling you in a bit more uh, about Santa and the big fella uh, next year again. All the best and Merry Christmas.